Hey gang, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're going to talk some basics about document links. Um, that tab appears in many different places in P21. Uh, they function generally the same. The only thing that really changes is the areas that you can display and share document links with. Obviously, if you start from sales order, it's going to be very sales shipping oriented. If you start it from purchase order, it's going to be supplier, uh, maybe accounts payable. It's going to be in that realm. We're going to start in sales order here. Now you can see I already have one here uh, that is set up. Uh, I can right click on it and hit view. And depending on what type of file it is, like this one happens to be a PDF, it will download it to your computer, but it also opens it up uh, in a tab, just like a print preview will. Um, if for some reason I wanted to edit this, I could always right click on here. If I want to delete it, I can click on the edit um, and delete it from here. I can edit and change the available areas. And then I can also directly delete it from here if I want to, if it doesn't need to be there. When I hit save, it'll delete it. So how do we add one? So we right click here and we go down to the add and we're, we're going to name it. You don't have to name it exactly what you are uploading. I generally do just cause I find that it's uh, easier to remember. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the files that you're uploading, make sure they're unique names. Don't just do invoice or uh, company A's invoice because it will override it. You can see here, I've already used this one once before. It's warning me it's gonna override it if I say yes, which I am. Um, you can make it available for outside use, which um, allows you to email it and fax it if you have that set up in your system. Not really. Uh, something that's used a lot, I would think, because um, you can always download it and email it if you need to. Uh, this is the part down here at the bottom I said that would change depending on what area you're, you're launching from. Obviously, this is all very order-based, invoice-based, shipping-based. Um, so you can select something that you want to have it available, hit the thing, and hit select. Now, I do recommend not hitting select all because that could get really tedious, especially if you select item master inquiry or something like that. Um, you could end up putting a lot of noise out there. So just keep that in mind. And once you do that, you click OK. And it's now added. Now you saw I picked shipping. So if I went to the shipping screen, if I had a pick ticket for this order, that Excel document would be available. Um, now Excel documents and Word documents operate a little bit differently. If I right click on it and hit view, it is not going to open in a tab, obviously. It's going to open up a um, copy that it's downloaded on my PC that you can see here. Um, but yeah, it, it's very useful. It's useful for things like if you have contracts and you want to have something specific tied to that contract. If you have a quote and they've signed it as approved and you want to put a copy of that quote signed approved in there, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can print out an email in a, in a PDF format so you have a record of it and it travels with that order and it lives. Uh, it's also important to note, you don't have to keep the document in the same place once you've uploaded it into P21. It, it just makes a copy of your document. It doesn't actually uh, look for that folder that you originally uploaded it from. Again, I was trying to try to do that real quick. Um, if you guys have any more questions about document links or anything else, really put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas will be here for your P21 needs.